I just wanted to do a really quick video to show you how cute I think this girl is. Oh my gosh. Okay, I know it's totally not in the same kind of genre necessarily as what we're going for here, but I had to highlight this beautiful Winnie VJD Zone shirt. I love it. It's in all the colors that are my favorite. Um, I wanted to show you guys this little teeny tiny necklace that I made for her. I don't know if it'll show up. It's a little butterfly. Teeny teeny tiny little butterfly. Oh, there it is. Uh, and of course she has her mirror and her little Alice in Wonderland book and a key. Uh, she has of course her bunny ears and the older sister of the white rabbit. Um, I love these little tights. These tights are actually from, let's see, uh, Goldilocks, or the daughter of Goldilocks in Ever After High. Uh, her, I think it's her original set. Uh, anyway, I borrowed these from my daughter's dolls because <laughs> I thought it was too cute. And then I had to show you, um, her little bloomers, of course, have the little Taya on the back. So anyway, she's sitting pretty and looking cute. And I also wanted to kind of highlight the Monster High stuff I've been doing. So I'll do that next. And here's the Monster High lineup that I have so far that I'm working on. You've met this girl here who I love. I don't know. There's just something about her that I really, really like. And I used an A-Zone dress on her, which is a little big, but... When you set her up with her stand and everything, it kind of holds everything in place. And I just like that it gives her a little bit more body, that it's not so, so thin. <laughs> um, this is also an A-Zone dress here. Not this part, I made that. But um, this is an A-Zone piece that I think this went around the torso of an A-Zone, but it actually worked as a top for her so and I thought it matched her shoes she also is wearing tights from ever after high they're so cute well made the little fishnet kind of a look um I think that they belong to oh, I can't remember which doll now it was either like the the briar rose one or maybe it was raven queen I'm not sure I'm sorry I don't know all of their names I should, but I don't. Um, again, borrowed from my daughter's collection, uh, just because I thought it would be great. She was missing the fins on the side when I got her from the thrift store, and so it kind of covers that up nicely. Uh, this girl here is still a work in progress. You can't really see. Um, I'm experimenting with white and it's not turning out too well so I'm gonna keep working on her if she's just in the beginning stages and then I'm really excited about this is Claudine's sister right her little sister I don't know um, but she's shorter than all the rest it's so cute I'm really excited to work with her um, I have lots of mod ideas and the the hair's going the ears are going she does have a stain here that I tried to get off and it wouldn't come so that just gives me more incentive to play around with face paint and see how I can cover that up and make it look like it's supposed to be there um, and then this one I'm not finished with but I'm actually gonna put glass eyes in it and um, well first blush it well no okay first I'm going to <laughs> attempt rerouting and then blush and then paint and then I'll stick the glass eyes in. I plan on opening up her head like a BJD and um, that's how I'll put the, the eyes in but she came to me a mess like she was very dirty I still need to get rid of the paint uh, that was on here but um, so yeah and this is obviously not finished but the plan is to get some really fine sandpaper and to kind of even even out the roughness and make it smooth and um, make both eyes the same size and uh, make it look a little bit more natural and ready for um, inserting glass eyes. So I am excited about that. Uh, 
anybody has any tips on getting the glue out, I mean, I, I'm going to open up her head anyway, so this will be fine. I can do it this time, but these tweezers are not, not quite <laughs> uh, getting everything. So for those dolls that I just plan on rerouting only and not modding the eyes, it'd be nice to know a good way to do that. Um, if there's like a solution or, you know, that I can pour in there or I don't know, needle nose pliers. I don't know. Anyway, but these are my monster highs so far, <clears throat> excuse me, that I've been working on. Oh, and I also have a Bratz doll, which I'm not extremely, I don't know. Well, she's supposed to be Mulan. I, I wanted to take a character from the Bratz that was just like totally over, I, I I feel like they over-sexualize dolls, especially being the mother of three girls. I feel like the makeup and the clothes and all of that of these dolls is just not necessarily a good role model. So I decided to change this Bratz doll into Mulan, who is a great woman role model. So, um, whoa, my voice got ringing really loud, <laughs> really loud and really low just then. But anyway, um, so yeah, that's her. She's kind of Mulan as a child. Yes, I know I gave her blue eyes, but I just thought it looked really cool. <laughs> so all of this is experimenting anyway. So I've been having fun with it and surprising how many A-Zone clothes will work for these characters. Um, <clears throat> even though these dolls are so skinny, uh, I really like having the length of the dress go just below the knees so that you it emphasizes their calves a little more gives them a little bit more um, of a shape. So anyway, thank you for watching.